Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be bringing you my Flatshade Signage Mod 12 theme review. Now, Flatshade is a delightfully material theme for the Signage Mod 12 theme engine that aims to breathe new life into material design. You'll find just about everything themed or tweaked in some way or another, from the nav bar and status bars to the wallpapers on the lock screen and home screen, and even a few apps have been themed, as well as the boot screen. So let's go ahead and take a look. So starting off on the home screen, we'll begin to notice a bunch of new changes surrounding this theme. For starters, the icons. Now, I usually complain about the icons with other themes, but these icons look pretty hot, to be honest. They match the unthemed icons, so there's a pretty seamless transition between which icons are themed and which ones aren't, and so it kind of makes it hard to notice and that's why I really like them. The developer did a really good job with these themes and making sure that they work with the unthemed icons. So of course the navbar and status bar have both been altered for the better. I really like the way that they look. The fonts and the icons look really good. And so have the quick settings. Now the quick settings have gotten a slight redesign as far as the icons go and the color has been changed to orange which took a little while to grow on me but after having used the theme for quite a while I'm really liking it now. Now that orange color also seeps into the volume sliders and I really don't mind it. I think the orange looks pretty good. And one quick note, the wallpaper looks really good. It's actually so nice that I find myself applying it even when I don't have this particular theme up applied, so kudos to the developer for the wallpapers. Anyway, we can go ahead and check out the settings, which has gotten a beautiful makeover, and I gotta tell you, it's getting harder and harder to have a single favorite settings redesign when the developers are getting really creative and do some awesome stuff inside the settings, like this. The colorful icons next to the labels is exactly what I wanted to see in Android 4.4 KitKat, so to have them here is really awesome. I, you know, I can't believe that somebody did that. It looks really good, and I actually wish this was something that stock Android had. Of course, you do have little sliders that also have been themed, but anyway, moving out of there and taking a look at some of the themed apps, we can see that Hangouts has been slightly changed as far as the icons go and the color has been tweaked a little. Uh, the CM12 file manager has also gotten new paint and Google Plus is modified a bit with the floating action button and the fonts and color a little bit. Uh, Instagram also looks much better with the new color palette and slightly tweaked icons. There are also other apps that have gotten a slight retouch such as the dialer, contacts, Gmail, Messenger and a few others. Now the Google keyboard has also been redesigned of course and it's got this sort of grayish blue theme going on with it with purple accents and I really like it. It's a subtle design change but I think the developer did an awesome job with it. The Google keyboard is something that I also tend to fall in love with if it's done right just like the settings and I gotta tell you the developer did a great job with the Google keyboard. But anyway that's pretty much gonna end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more and don't forget to check out the description because I'll have a link to this theme in case you you guys want to check it out for yourself uh, and don't forget to follow me on google plus twitter instagram snapchat and now periscope uh, but anyway i will catch you guys in the next one peace